Let's see if Cortex is caught up with Evil Crash. There they are. Let her go. Take me instead. Oh, Cortex, what trouble have you gotten into this time? We'll find out soon enough. But for now, let's finish collecting the gems. We have two more to collect. So when we head in this direction, some wampa fruit leads us over here. And there it is. With minimal resistance. Hooray for difficulty spikes! Some of them are ridiculously hard to get to. Some of them are ridiculously easy. <laughs> Doesn't seem to be any pattern to them. It just is what it is. Anyway, head over here for the last gem. Where, yes, we'll be rolling another ball. But thankfully the challenge isn't nearly as bad this time. Yes, we still have rotating cylinders, but we don't have peg notches in them getting in our way, and we don't have to scroll them onto a moving platform. We'll just wait for them to straighten out. And then run across. And the ball will go straight into the field there. And the blue gem is now accessible. Okay, that's all six gems for the Twin Sanity Island area. Hey, Nina! You a little tied up at the moment? <laughs> yeah, she, she'll be fine. Anyway, this is Evil Crash's house. It looks very much like Crash's house, except with more spikes. They don't hurt you or anything, so don't worry about that. He's also got a well that goes nowhere. So let's move on to the next stage. Bandicoot Pursuit. Just a few beam sword wielding enemies. Ignore them, they'll, they'll be more trouble to handle than they're worth. World Crate will save that very hard gem that we just collected, thankfully. few platforms to jump across. And on we go. I'll also state for the record that I love the music in this level. <laughs> but yes, we are setting off more of the, uh... setting off more obstacles, helping Cortex get across, just like in the, uh, Totem Hokum level. But instead of a beehive on his head, he's now got Evil Crash chasing him. I rather like it. <laughs> Oops, I didn't set that off soon enough, and he got blown up. My bad! But yeah, like before, you want to try and stay as far ahead of him as you can, but don't get too far ahead, because there are certain traps that you need to wait for him before he can, uh, before you can move him across safely, or stuff like this where you need to wait for him to get over here. Come on, come on, come on! Okay, good. Well, I gotta set this stuff off sooner and actually watch where I'm running. <laughs> Alright, let's try that again. Oh 
Okay, that should be a pretty effective lead, and I almost walked right into that. You stop that. Then off the explosives. Break each gem to break the force field. Or button, or whatever those things are. This thing you need to flip twice. So that he doesn't throw himself off. Uh oh. I forgot to hit that thing. But at least I got the gem! You're happy for me, right, Cortex? Anyway, I need to make a correction on what I said about these levels in Totem Hokum. What I had previously said was that if you or Cortex dies, you will lose a life. This isn't actually true. If Cortex dies, you don't lose a life. You get a free retry. It's really weird. You only lose a life if Crash dies. So, yeah, Cortex, you're fine. You have infinite lives. <laughs> Green gem stays collected, so I don't need to worry about getting it again. All right, on to the next segment. There are three in this stage. They should be coming along, there he, there he is. Take out the enemy quickly. Yeah. He's also How did he hit me from there? You saw that. That was not a hit at all. <laughs> so much for the hit detection. Anyway, that's segment two down. Noticing that there's a distinct lack of gems here. We've only collected one so far. Well, rest assured, they're coming later. Be sure to hit all these explanation boxes except the last one, because then you would solidify that one, and he'd run straight into the Nitro, and that wouldn't be good. Come on, you slowpoke. Unfortunately, there's no way to go for this gem and get back in time to save him, so you're gonna have to throw his... Inf one of his infinite lives away in order to go for that gem. But not to worry, we'll just speed back up to where we were. Alright. Several new obstacles in the way. More force fields, get it quickly. Remember to hold those buttons down for him. And more of the rotating platforms. This is a tricky one. I once missed that, and it was quite funny. And here's the crystal. Another one that we don't need. Hey, don't push me! Come along. <laughs> I guess Cortex wanted a hug. <laughs> That's the checkpoint crate, but we're not quite done here. There's a gem hidden behind these rocks. Pretty easy to miss if you're not exploring the area. And the last few gems are up here in... What really looks like it should be part of Twin Sanity Island, but no, this area here is still technically Bandicoot Pursuit. Here's a checkpoint crate in case you can't run in a straight line and walk directly into water.
just a few gems left to collect, and we'll be done in this level. See, there's the place we're trying to get to up there. But more on that momentarily. Let's try and get to this gem, shall we? First slide this ball into place. Yes, more ball sliding, because we haven't had enough of that yet. Hmm. We may need to rotate this platform first. Spin this thing to do that. Now where'd the ball go? Well, well, that's not going to do us any good here. What was that? Oh, an explanation box. We will need that later. Anyway, just roll this ball to the middle. Yes, these are the same rotating platforms from that chase level that we were just in. Now we're using it to move a ball across to that little magnetic field. Do watch your step here, because nobody wants to take a plunge in purple water. Uh... There's not a lot of room to move that ball. Try not to stop it in the dead center. Oh! It really looked like I would be able to walk across that, but apparently not. Let me take another look at that. Yeah, there's a space in there. <laughs> you can roll the ball across it, but you can't run across it. Okay! Oh, I ran across it that time, and there went my ball. I'm making this look a lot harder than it actually is. Um, I'll take it. Bet it'll fall when I spin this thing. Whoa! <laughs> oh, something. All right, straight across. Not too hard. Okay, let's just put down the edge there, so we have room to move it. And spin this platform. Looks like it maintains its position despite rotating. And into the field it will go. Allowing us access to the gem. That's four. This one will be simple enough to get if we can find a ball to throw into it. Maybe we can roll this ball over there. Oh, never mind. Yeah, once you throw it into that electric field, you can't use it again. But there's a ball over there we might be able to use. Let's see about solidifying those blocks. I know there's an explanation box over here. So let's go hit it and see what happens. There we go. So did that solidify the block? No, it's going to solidify another one. It's over there where that yellow gem is, so let's go grab that. There we go. Okay. So now just that one left we can figure out how to get to that red ball. I don't think this is what you're supposed to do, but I'm going to try and jump on that box. 
Well, that solidified the block. So now we can take this ball. I guess we could try and slide it over there. And fall right into the water. Fabulous. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure how you would be able to get that ball across. By the way, this thing here is not for show, but we will see it later. Well, now we can use the ball again, since I lost a life. But I wonder if it's going to let me carry it all the way over here. Okay, I guess so. I wonder if you're supposed to go for this one first. Hmm. Pretty weird. But regardless, we have the gem now. That would cover all the gems for Bandicoot Pursuit now. Yes, it does. All right. And with that, we can now move on to this fortress-looking thing here. Pretty big. Victor and Moritz's stronghold of evil. This is where we wrong the rights and sweep the past under the rug. How did Nina even get here? Eh, whatever. Let's just go ahead and follow them inside. We're going after the evil twins. Here is the world crate, and here is where we will call it a video for now. Uh, so after that little death reel, that will inevitably be following this video. Next time, we will take on the final stage, and then the final boss. I'll see you then!